This is code. And this is also code. Both of these snippets do the same. But which one would you prefer to read and work with? Let's talk about clean code. There are four rules that you need to obey to write clean code. What is code nesting? Nesting is when you place one block of code inside another one. You see this all the time with things like if statements and loops. Nothing special, you may say. But what happens when you nest, for example, six times? Your code becomes unreadable. We must set ourselves a limit, which is three. It allows us to do more complex nesting, but keep the code readable. We usually don't think much about them until we don't understand what the variable does. First of all, we should use one naming system. Three popular ones include camel case. The first word starts with a small letter and the later words will start with a capital letter. Snake case. All the words start with a small letter. Each word is separated with an underscore character. Pascal case. All the words start with a capital letter. The words aren't separated with any character and are just written one after another. In this code we have some ver strange variable names. Could you tell me what are we doing here? Yeah. Now I will change the variable names. Now can you tell me? Remember to keep your variable names descriptive and informative. Dry. Don't repeat yourself. Repetition in code is bad. If you have to update or fix something, you'll need to make the same change in multiple parts of the code base. How do we avoid this? We move... What did I write here? We move reused parts of code into functions or even libraries. This makes your code cleaner and easier to read. Thanks to this, if you also have to make any changes, you do it in one place and everything should work. Functions are an important part of writing code, but not all functions are created equally. A good function should be responsible for only one thing. Why is this so important? If you have a function like this, doing a couple of different things, it might become very hard to debug possible errors. By keeping each function responsible for one thing, you make your code more readable and easier to debug and modify. Here is an example of my PowerPoint generator. As you can see, I have one function which calls different functions which each do one thing. In this case, they each do one part of the slide. This makes sure that if I want to modify something, the whole function doesn't accidentally break. Moving on, make sure to keep your function names short and descriptive. Don't use names like function1. Your functions should use the same naming system, preferably one of the three from the variable naming section. Another thing which is less important but also worth noting is trying to keep functions pretty short. Don't write functions that have hundreds of lines of code. That will be a big mess. If you follow these simple rules, your code can be called clean.